मैं बहुत बहुत बधाई दूंगा मेहता साहब को बहुत बहुत बधाई दूंगा मेहता साहब को कि इनका एक्सपीरियंस इतने सालों का आज ये बुक के अंदर आया है पूरी समरी एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी वेरी प्राउड ये बचपन से मुझे देखे हैं माय फादर एंड ही हैज अ ग्रेट बॉन्डिंग आई एम रियली 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 हैप्पी फॉर दिस बुक लॉन्च ग्रेट बुक लॉन्च बहुत सी चीज़ हमको सीखने मिलेगी इस बुक से एंड माई बेस्ट विशेज टू मेहता साहब ऑलवेज थैंक यू रॉक स्टार थैंक यू सर थैंक यू इस इवेंट के बारे में जो बुक में कॉन्टेंट है क्या बेसिकली आप ये जस्ट टू एनकरेज द जूनियर to struggle in the life to achieve the goal that is what is exactly you can't give up you should not give up so who that, are the people who will learn something youngsters or you know people youngsters, professional all youngsters professional all old people <laughs> they are but professionals young blood they they are struggling in the life therefore for them only this book is given sir aapne bhi jo mukam hasil kiya matlab bahut struggle kiya aapne tabhi ye mukam aaya to aap bataiye khud ke bare mein khud ke experience ke bare mein mujhe acha laga kyunki mere khayal se jo aaj jinon jo mehta sahab ne jo book likhi hai bahut hi important book hai mere khayal se ek pura perspective deta hai apna pure quotes ka aur inka experience khud rahe itne saalon se तो बहुत अच्छा रिंग साइड व्यू मिलती है जैसे हमारी फिल्म जैसे ग्लैमर की होती है फैशन हीरोइन किस तरह से आपको पूरा वर्ल्ड मिलता है कि इस वर्ल्ड में क्या होता है उसी तरह ये जो बुक है खास करके उनको डेफिनेटली इंस्पायर करेगी जो यंग जूनियर्स है जो इस प्रोफेशन को आना चाहते हैं या सीखना चाहते हैं तो डेफिनेटली इट विल गिव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिंग साइड व्यू टू द जूनियर्स एंड एंड अ लॉर्ड वर्द एडवोकेट फॉल्स सर कुछ important thing about the book is most important thing about the book is educated will become literate and hence we always pray to god Lamp light. क्रिएटिविटी आती है एंड तालियों पर अभी तक टैक्स नहीं लगाया है तो तालियां और हंसी तो फुल की होनी चाहिए भाई वेल द बेस्ट सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड एज आई कॉल इट एंड आई एम सो सो प्राउड टू वेलकम एवरीवन हियर फॉर द बुक uh launch of my dad mr devika mehta uh journey uh of his life uh thank you to every single one of you who is gathered here with us and those of who you who are watching us on live live on youtube uh i'm so so grateful that you graced us with your presence here before we get going um i would also like to thank everybody who's played a big role in putting the book together and the set and this event uh we wouldn't have done this without you so thank you thank you very much uh well how do i start i'm extremely proud to be standing here to talk about my father's beautiful journey uh while it was often difficult sometimes successful uh filled with a lot of grit and persistence as you guys many of you guys know uh i can also assure you as and again as many of you guys know it was always 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 fun uh i that's the one thing that if i could learn from him is how to enjoy life uh to the fullest while continuing to struggle and make sure you you working towards success so 
Tonight is a celebration of all that he's achieved uh, in the last 40 years. And I know I speak on behalf of my sister, my cousins, uh, a lot of young people who have had the good fortune of spending time with him and learning from him. Uh, that, you know, this, it, nothing gives us more pleasure than to see so many folks who love him here to celebrate it with him. Uh, I know for one, my son will be enjoying the book. Come on, with me, along with me, everyone on the count of three. Two, one, and here we go. Can we have the hammer? Yes. I want everyone to turn your eyes on the screen, towards the screen. This is the moment which we all have been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, is a reflection of his refined advocacy, ethics, and dedication to the legal world. Well, and now we are going to move ahead in this event. We have. After all these years, what it means and what we have achieved. We had different countries that were talking in this public. The path of legal profession in Mumbai is not easy. It requires hard work. That has not been the thing of that. Room has been thousands by the sector. The success and setbacks are our plan. So, be very tolerant and be very kind. But it is said, and I hope I won't be held in contempt of court for this. But they say that a good lawyer, Divya Kanthai, knows the law. But a better lawyer knows the judge. But what does one say about Divya Kanthai who knows the law and knows every judge? What sort of lawyer is that? But jokes apart, there is an old proverb that says that if you read something that you cannot understand, Bet your life that it has been written by some lawyer. But Nidhi Khan Khai's autobiography has been written by the story. And as a storyteller, and you know, in my growing up years, people used to ask me that, you know, how is it that you can tell these stories, 100,000 words, 120,000 words, how do you write these books? And I used to say that in my growing up years, my mother always used to say that I was a bloody good liar. That I could tell a lie with a straight face. I am a very good person. 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 I am a तुमने बताने पर आज जीवन यात्रा नो एवं कम्शे एम मरी खात्री से अने हज़ु तो बताए करुते में यात्रा अधूरी से अने अमें उत्तर आर्थ में राजूश। This is in a way a story of Divya Kanthai's travels from Mumbai to Mumbai for education and work, and from there to Russia and around the world with his friends and family 
sometimes in connection with his professional work, sometimes for pleasure. Fortunately, his wife Rasida Ben also is a lawyer, so he had an added reason for taking her in his travels. What emerges prominently from his narrative is the author's determination to overcome all odds to succeed in his chosen field. In the words, in his own words, Nishan Chuk Maaf Nahi Maaf Nichu Nishan you one must always aim high. For a lawyer, the most important requisite is his ability to speak clearly and fluently, to answer the issues raised by the opposition, and to persuade the judge to rule in favor of his side. It requires mastery over the legal subject, knowledge of precedence, ability to distinguish unfavorable judgments, and above all, to plead his case in a manner that invites acceptance. Mastery over language is essential for success as a lawyer. As the court language is English, mastery over English is a must. The author is described, as you heard just now, his greatest handicap in his practice as a lawyer was his lack of knowledge of English because he had done his entire education up to reaching the government law college here in Gujarati. The author has described his education and upbringing in Gujarati in the beautiful small town of Mahua. He struggled to learn English after joining government law college in Mumbai and how he managed to learn this language with the help of books, friends and well-wishers. I was surprised that despite the difficulties he faced for not knowing English, he wanted to send his children to a Gujarati medium school. But his wife's good sense prevailed and the children joined an English medium school. <laughs> Incidentally, I also went to a Gujarati medium school. But so before you start, just a question, are we here before we were standing here? Never, never. Never. Don't be afraid. My speech is nearly about seven or eight pages. But you have already heard so many things from the books and everything. I'll just start with, and that is what I want to uh, tell Mrs. Justice Sujata Manoha, that why the language is language was a barrier. When we were studying in a school, what we were taught was Chagan is going and Mogan is coming. Yeah. This is what we have to either make it in Gujarati and from Gujarati to English. That was the problem which we have faced. This was the one of the incidents. Second, already Nandini has read it. Uh, even Janvi has read it. That was the first day of my college when that problem of my teeth because I was not knowing that how to press the order and Kamle, you are here where are you? just stand up yeah Kamlesh Babu ek chai ki kimat tum kya jano aad ta kam pe kar rahe hai aap so till today I am paying that price of that tea and all these years we have a friendship with you now, two, cent two things which I want to tell all youngsters and everyone. The motto of my life, two things. One is Nishan Chuk Maaf, Nai Maaf Nichu Nishan. So, the goal should not be low, goal should be high. And the second one, when we were having a college competition, we used to say, and at that time we never knew, but after my association with Murad Shah, I came to know that slogan of Jawaharlal Nehru, if you want to build up your own reputation, associate yourself with the man of best ability, that is what I got it in 1979, that man of best ability who is present over here to grace the occasion and today I could reach to this stage that all things goes to him.
One more thing which I would like to add, not take, I know that everybody is waiting for. Welcome, Sanab sir. Thank you very much for gracing the occasion. You can sit here. Now, so many struggle in the line. I'll give one instance. In my junior day, as the Sudhir suggested, you must have a heron pack packet cover in which you should keep your visiting card. And whenever somebody asks you, you have to just open it so everybody can look at that there is a herald of London and then you take out a card. In one function, ma'am, I went there as a junior. Somebody came and asked me, give me one card. I was so happy. At least I got one client. His son came running behind him. Sir, don't give him card. I said, why? He said, he uses the card for cleaning his teeth. I said, same thing, on the same day, again it happens, one person came and said, I want, sir, your six, seven cards. So I was so happy, I'll, I'll get you six, seven clients in a junior day. So I said, okay, I gave it. And then I was chit-chatting something and then when I was coming out, I saw that they were using my visiting card as a chamchi for eating the bed. <laughs> so this is what struggle, what is always happens in your initial days when you are a junior, but never to be afraid. A lot of people, a lot of friends say, your English is not sound. I said, my English is not sound. But there is a sound in my English which reaches to the judges and they deliver the judge. So that is what it should be in the life, that we should always keep struggling in the life. So many problems come, so many things have happened, but ultimately you have to go on the life. And that's how I have lived my life. Thank you very much to all of you for attending my function and I am taking your leave, just sitting on the dais and one another thing is, after 25 years, we have requested Mrs. Manohar to preside on the dais and therefore I have prepared this dais. Hmm? And uh, how do you feel right now? I mean, a yeah. lot of people praising about I'll, your... The first to utilize the corona period, I decided, as suggested by my friend, that I must write my on my autobiography. Because the struggle which we have done it, that has to be recorded for a message to the youngster that never break down yourself, whatever may come in your life, get up. Struggle in. Even if you fall down, again get up. And first thing, as I said in my speech, if you want to build up your own reputation, associate yourself with the man of best ability. If you are with the good people, their reputation is there, you will be also shine like him. That is what the reason. It was unexpected. Madhur Bhandarkar came, which people know. He took out the time and came. This is Justice Zatha Manor, Justice Sayyad, Justice Sanap. All these things, they have just done some time for themselves. And that is really, I feel proud of them. Because of them, I am also feeling myself good. Hmm? Yes, thank you.